YouTube, how's it going? I don't know why I asked that, I know you can't answer me. <laughs> Unless you want to in the comments, I guess. Today we're going to talk about uh, how to prep a panel for airbrushing. This is just a piece of sign material, dive on. And uh, if you watch any airbrush videos, you see a lot of people spraying on these things. So, there are a couple things you need to know about prepping them. A couple of uh, interesting mistakes that I've seen people make. Not on videos, typically, but in person. First of all, they have what's called a carrier on them. It's just uh, a piece of vinyl that keeps them from getting scratched. This one, you can see that it's got a carrier on it because it's got some uh, arrows on them. But in some of them, the carrier is just white. Always check for it and make sure you peel it off. You do all your prep work on the carrier, airbrush it, and then it peels off, you're not going to be very happy. So there we go, step one of a two to three step process. We're almost halfway there. Next, you never want to paint on a glossy surface. Even if it's matte, like this stuff, this side is matte and the other side was glossy. You still need to scuff it down to prepare it so that the paint will stick to it better. Okay? So all I'm going to do is take a gray scotch pad. It doesn't have to be gray. Different colors are different grits. Gray seems to work fine. So you take a gray scotch pad and just go over the whole thing and make sure that I scuff it all down. It only takes a few seconds. Prepping for, uh, for airbrush panels is one of the easiest things in terms of uh, getting things ready for paint. So there we go. It's now all scuffed down. And finally, you want to make sure that there's no dust on it. It's the wrong drawer. So you clean it, basically, with wax and grease remover, preferably, if you've been touching it. Or if you did like I just did and pulled the carrier off and just went straight to scuffing it and basically haven't touched the surface, then you can just take a tack cloth, make sure there's no dust on it, and you're ready to spray. Now at this point, this is a white background, so last but not least for preparation, if, uh, if you prefer to do a black background or something like that, you don't need primer, you're ready to go. Just go ahead and toss your black on there you're doing flames or something, and that's all you need to know. Good luck, have fun airbrushing. Thanks for watching, see you next time.